Greetings from Sikiat Solutions. Today, inshallah, we will make a sample for the tilted vessels and we will know how to create this type of pressure vessels. Uh, we will open a CG software. After that, we will create a new project. Define the project name, location, and click finish. Now we will make a rename for the vessel. After that, we from the setting tab, we will open equipment setting and define the position of the vessel to make it sloped and define the sloped angle to be 4 degrees. Now we will add a, a, an elliptical head, define the inside diameter, thickness, straight flange, minimum thickness of forming. After that, we will add can 1, define the type, inside diameter, thickness. We will add another can and in this case we will make it select same as to make it same as can one just we will change the longitudinal building line orientation now we will add the second head and make it looks like the uh, left head and make it flip after that we will send the assembly to autodesk inventor after that we will add the tilted saddle not uh, the standard saddle we will add the tilted saddle and you can figure that from this image, the definition of this saddle referred to the reference point and the height location. So we will define those values from uh, the user interface here. Uh, we will define the wheel plate dimensions, base plate. After uh, that, the uh, hole dimensions, the uh, hole offset, make it as a slight hole. Define the location and the straight flange lens the tilted angle that we need uh, here we will find this rib spacing let's add a new tilted saddle and make it same as the left saddle the uh, we will make just two changes the first is the uh, slight slot holes and location we will remove the slot holes now the assembly of the saddle tilted saddle will start here you can figure that item. Uh, the saddle items will be assembled automatically. After that, will be assembled with the final uh, vessel assembly. As you can figure, the uh, tilted vessels. Uh, most of us know that it's a, a very difficult uh, for the. Um, in modeling case, but with SE software, you can make it uh, easily. Uh, and you will uh, note that during creating the nozzles. Now let's add a new nozzle, end one. And from here, let's select the size schedule. Let's add a rebad, define the rebad thickness. Here's the values of the uh, location. Uh, we will not care about it from this form. Let's add a flange right now. Select ask me flange, rating, size, and schedule. Now from the nozzle, let's open the calculator and you can figure that here this form for the calculator you can define the location and projection. Now when we create this nozzle, you can figure that the facing of this nozzle is uh, tilted to the vessel and horizontal to the real horizontal vessel center line. Now let's make a, a drawing and check this point right here let's add some center lines for the nozzle saddles and let's measure from the reference point here to the second saddle those are the dimensions that we defined that's the location of this model from the visit center line and the projection as we defined in our model okay now let's come back to the model and let's add a tilted nozzle to the vessel, uh, to the elliptical head. And how we can do that? Let's select a 12 inches uh, nozzle, define the offset from the center line, define the tilted angle, and let's click save, let's add a flange to this nozzle. Okay, and let's click simply. Now we have this nozzle is a horizontal nozzle perpendicular to the uh, horizontal center line. 
Okay, now let's add another nozzle to the second head, and let's make this nozzle uh, perpendicular to the horizontal vessel, uh, the horizontal center line. You can figure that the uh, facing of this nozzle, uh, we need to change the facing, so we will minimize the value with 80 degrees to make it perpendicular to the horizontal center line. Now let's uh, add another nozzle, but in this uh, uh, nozzle we will make it helicide nozzle to figure out how we can make this uh, the definition of uh, or the calculation of projection and uh, uh, location of this nozzle. So let's come back to the nozzle and open the calculator. Now we will define the location, select the orientation and define the location of this nozzle from bottom. Define the projection and click calculate button. Save. Now let's run this model. Okay, now we have this nozzle. Let's come back to the model and measure the uh, offset of this nozzle from the visible bottom. Let's create a sketch and project the uh, center line of this uh, nozzle. And let's draw a line from center to bottom and make a trim for this line. Make a trim for that finished sketch and let's measure the offset here as we defined now we will measure the location as we defined so by that way you can make a tilted vessel by easy way by using is easy uh, software all of us know that uh, this type of vessels is uh, very difficult for the modeling but here you can figure that it's it's very easy to define the location of nozzles projection of nozzles is the same for saddles so it's easy cover that and take care about that thank you for your time